and today's class we are going to be learning about um, making inferences and how we can tell the difference between making inferences and observations. Okay? So today's class is about learning how to make inferences, how to make observations, and the difference between observations and inferences. Okay? And the language that we use around making inferences and observations. Okay? So that's what today's class is on. All right? Um, but to start off, my name is Kevin Collins. I'm the teacher for the class today. Okay? Um, I don't think I've met most of you guys before. So how about you tell me where you're from? Sure. Okay. So I, Joshua, where are you from? Or Shing Wei Zhang. Hello, did you? Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you hear me? Do you yeah. hear me? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm from Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm from Hong Kong. Yeah. 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 America Central. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, but now I am in Boston. You're in Boston? Yeah, Boston. Oh, cool. Um, I went to school in Boston. Oh, nice. Which one? Yeah, for um, it was a uh, high school. Oh, for high nice. School. Yeah, before college. Uh, um, where in Boston are you? I am in East Boston. East. Like what? What town? Uh, east, the East Boston. East what town is Boston. close? What town is close to you? Um, it's um Chelsea, Chelsea, Somerville, Cambridge. Chelsea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I went to school in Milton. Uh, where? Uh, Milton. Milton. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's not that far. It's like twenty minutes drive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, welcome to class. Um, who else is here? Thank Oliver. Hi. Oliver. Hi. What's up, Oliver? Um, it's fine. I'm Good. from Chile. Where? From Chile. Oh, okay. Cool. So I spent the last in Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. Did, I, were you I, in my class before? Yeah, I guess that maybe we met before a couple of months ago. Okay, cool. Yeah, well now I'm now I'm back So in, you are in the USA now? Yeah, I'm now I'm back home. Yeah. <laughs> in um in Washington in I go to school in Washington D.C. And it's so cold. Yeah, it's cold now. It's like it's like thirty degrees. Is it Fahrenheit. Snowing? Um, not today. It was a few days ago. A few days ago, it snowed. Yeah. Yeah, but now do, do you know now what, it's winter what time. Is in, in Celsius in Celsius grade? Do you know what? Is the measure in Celsius? In Celsius, I think, um, well, 32 degrees, 32 Fahrenheit is zero Celsius. So ah. I'm close. I'm close to around zero. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's when the water come becomes ice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Very it's cold. Not, not as bad as in New York. So I'm from I'm, I'm from Brooklyn. So in, so in Brooklyn it's worse? Yes. Originally. That's where, that's where I'm from originally. But up there, because I'm like, I'm on south right now. I'm like four hours driving away from Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn is more north for me. Uh, it's really cold up there. More colder than it is in, in Washington, D.C. 
right now. Well, yeah, well, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> Who else is here? Uh, Vit Vitor Henrique? Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? I'm good, and you? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. From Brazil? Cool. Good. I'm Warm weather, I guess. Yeah, you just... Carnival... <laughs> Just finish, right? <laughs> yeah. In Brazil, it's always summer. Carnival just finished down there, right? I bet, yeah. I bet it was crazy. Like <laughs> yeah, always summer. Nice girls. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why you don't go Brazil? <laughs> I I need to visit Brazil. I really want to. Mm. Um. I think I have a few friends that are going to the World Cup, but oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Hopefully in the future. Hopefully in the future I can go. Uh, cool. And you? who else is here? Xingui, Xingui Shang. At least. Huh? Sir. Hey. Yeah. You are calling me. It's my yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's okay. Um, where, where are you from? I. Sir. I met you before. Oh, you did? Well, I can't see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get mad at me. <laughs> at least you, uh, <laughs> you be a pretty lady. If I use the camera... I, I can't really see who I, you are. <laughs> but um, you came to my class I, before? I'm from China. Oh, okay. I... I have okay. your I think I remember. Okay. If I, I think I remember. Camera, I actually think I remember. If I use the camera, the collection has a problem. I don't use the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. The camera. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I. I remember. I. I, I like you very much. I like because, you too. Mm -hmm. Because when you are speaking and uh, you can type it very fast. I yeah. like you. I'm really good at typing. I'm I'm the best typer. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been on computers. Yeah, I whenever I talk I type because I know I don't my sometimes when I talk I talk too fast. So I like to type what I say as well. You know? Ah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's get started with, with the lesson. All right. Yeah, let's get started. Yeah. Thank you. So let's get started um, time, with today's lesson. You, you can okay. do two things. Yeah. So let's remember today we're talking about inferences. Okay. We're talking about making inferences. Okay, um, and knowing the difference between making inferences and observations. Okay, so we, we're going to do a lot of different activities today. Okay, and everyone needs to participate. Okay, everyone needs to participate. All right. All right, let's get started. Okay. All right. So first, let's talk about observations. Okay. So first, we're going to talk about observations. All right. Does who knows the difference between a qualitative observation, qualitative, and a quantitative? Sir. Yes. When you make the document bigger, yes, I can also see this clearly. Thank you. How's, is it better? Mm. How's this? But but you have to click on the oh, no. little screen of the teacher first. Yeah. Down. Click, yeah. Click on my screen. Oh. Look on my screen. It's great. 
It's good? It's correct. Okay, perfect. All right. So, Vitter, you want to know how to pronounce that. So, it's called qualitative. Qualitative. Right. Qual. Qual. E. Qual e. Te. 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 No. Te. Qualitative. Yes, exactly. Qualitative. Qualitative. Okay. Yes. And then quantitative. Quan. Quan. T. 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 Yes. Oh, it's difficult. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's different right. words. Different <laughs> words. Different words, but similar. Okay. So, do you guys know the difference? Yes. Yes. So yes, qualitative, quantitative implies numbers. Exactly. Quantitative is numbers. Okay. And qualitative is like opinion. Exactly, like opinions. Okay. So, Joshua, can you see what I'm what I'm writing, or no? What did you say? Um, am I not using Kalingo chat? I thought I was using Kalingo chat. The green, the green okay. Button. Good. All right. So in this, in these examples, all right. So we're going to pick which one is qualitative and which one is quantitative. Okay. All right. Remember, qual deals with opinions. Quan deals with numbers. Okay, so let's go. Um, the candy was sour. Which one is it? Quan. No, qual. No. Qualitative. Qual. 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 Yes, qualitative. Okay. Qualitative. Um, yes. The bug was five centimeters long. Quantitative. Quan. The flower is red. The mass of the beaker oh, was 122 grams. Perfect. My fingernail is two centimeters long. Quan. The slug was slimy. What means that? Which one? The slug was slimy. What means? Um, the slug, slug is like a small insect. Slimy is the texture. Uh, and what is the okay, texture? So it's, it's like it's like green goo. It's very um I don't know like yucky. <laughs> Gummy? I don't know. No yucky like gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like if you Disgusting. you it's like take sticky, a bag and sticky glue. Huh. Like imagine gum. Oh yeah, imagine, I got it. imagine gum, but yeah, really, gum. Mm. Really, it's sticky. Um, like it's like spit. Yeah, but it's like Let's spit, it's like, like gum spit. spit. With a flu. Yeah, it's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's worse than that. <laughs> okay. Like when you when you right. get so when you, you get, get a cold. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So this. When you one, get a cold and yeah. and you and you have to nose. Um. And she is 150 centimeters tall. Quantitative. His hair is black. Qualitative. You have three sisters. Quantitative. Perfect. Okay. So all of these are observations. Okay. These are all observations. Okay. These are things that you 
can imagine that you see, and then you say what you see. Okay, so these are all facts. Okay, these are all facts. All right. Um, all right. So now let's see if we can um, make inferences. Okay. So what is an inference? When you sure, can't have a word. Yeah. So Oliver says it. So Oliver is. So can you say it one more time? When you get some conclusion about uh, information that you have, it's not explicitly exactly. right, but you can imagine it. Exactly. So it's when, exactly. So you make a conclusion from the information, from information that you have. Okay. So an inference is an educated prediction. Exactly. So Joshua said it as well. A conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. Okay. Also, yeah, exactly. A reasonable conclusion. Okay. All right. Good. So let's look at this picture. Okay. This first picture. Let's see if we can make an observation, and then let's see if we can make an inference. All right. Based on the picture. All right. So, who can give me an observation of this picture? What, what do you call that game? Um, this is called swinging. Swimming. Okay. So, swing. Swinging. Yes, swinging. Like the swingers. Swinging. Not like singing, swing with the W. Then two people swing. Yeah. So the past tense. Yeah. So the past tense is a little hard for s to swing. Past. Swing. Fun. Then two people are swinging. Which one is better, Andy or ED? Sir, are you her? I can't hear you. Teacher is gone. Oh, teacher is typing. And so, what could be the inference? Oh, the inference could be that we have lost the teacher. I think the connection of the teacher is well. Yeah, he has appeared. Oh, sorry. Teacher yeah, the I am. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Oh. I think when someone <laughs> tried to join, I got kicked out. Whatever. Okay, let's go back to what we were saying. All right. So we have an observation here. The two kids swung. Okay. The two kids swung on the swing. Okay. Um, what's an inference that we can make about this picture? They are getting fun. They are having fun. Perfect. They are having fun. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good example. All right. So, do we see the difference between observation and inference? They yes. are brothers. They are brothers. Brother and probably sister. All right. Yeah, so you see the difference between observation and inference. 
So let's do an observation and inference for this picture now, this last picture. Right here. A cup of coffee and a, an hamburger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a cup of coffee. Cup of a, soda. Or a cup of soda, yeah. And a hamburger. And a hamburger, perfect. So that's an observation. Okay, can you make an inference? They are very yes. delicious. They are very delicious. Perfect. Or it is it is very delicious. Um, another example? Maybe it's the somebody's breakfast. Maybe it's somebody's breakfast. So someone is or maybe someone's lunch, right? Yeah, could be. If someone is going to eat that for lunch. Perfect. Maybe who want to kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> so hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you can yeah, that's another inference. Someone someone is very hungry. All right, that's another inference, okay? So we see the difference between observations and inferences, right? And qualitative versus quantitative, right? Yes? Okay. Now, all right. Now let's look more at observation and inferences. Okay? So we can make sure we really understand it. Can everyone see this picture? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're going to answer questions based on this picture. All right. We're going to say observation if we think it's an ob if we think it's an observation, or an inference if we think it's an inference. Okay. So the first one, the boy is in the water, playing with the boat. With the boat. Oh no! Based on based on the statements, we're going to say whether or not it's a observation or an inference. That's um. Ooh. Observation. Observation. Perfect. Observation. Yeah. Perfect. Um, let's see. The weather is cold. Inference. 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 Yes, inference. Inference. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's I think the picture is wrong, is it? Yeah, that's as an inference too. No, the water is calm. Inference. Yeah. Inference. But the picture is not really. <sighs> An observation? No. Hey. Um, the teacher is not here, right? Yeah, that is an observation. Which one? Um, say it. What the teacher is not here. The teacher is gone, guys. Where is teacher? He will back, I think. Did you understand anything? What? I, it's hard to to you understand. Yeah, I understand you. Why? Everything. Everything. What? Um, inference. 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 Yeah, so that is an inference. Teachers come back. That's an observation. Oh, like oh, perfect. Oh, my screen is so much better now. Okay. Teacher, come back again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What happened, teacher? I don't know. I think something's wrong with my connection. I'm not sure. Technical problems. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I keep getting kicked out. I don't know. Cool. Maybe and I'm, a, I'm seeing Kalingo chat. Hey, I'm back. Okay. Cool. Can you go to Kalingo chat? <laughs> Yes, finally. Well, it didn't show up the last time. Now, now I can see it. I don't know why. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, let's not look at the picture. 
All right. And let's see if we can see whether we can tell the difference between an observation and an inference. Okay. So without looking at the picture, let's see if we can tell the difference between an observation statement and an inference statement. Okay? So let's see. Number three. The tree branch is broken. Observation. Observation. Perfect. How can you tell? Because you can see the branch broken in the picture. Yeah, but let's say that we didn't have a picture. How can you tell just from the statement that the, it's an observation? The writing the statement. The what? The writing, the way that it is written. Yeah, exactly. So the way they wrote it, the way the, well, yeah. the, way the sentence is written is like a fact. Okay? Something that cannot be disputed or argued against. Okay? Um, let's look at number four. Who wants to read number four for me? Observation. The world out of the water, the God the world back him. Perfect. What is it? Inference. Observation. An inference. No, an inference. Why? Usually, usually when you have the word if, mm -hmm. it's inference. Exactly. If. Because if indicates... Conditional. Indicates something conditional. Indicates something conditional or something doubtful. Okay? It's not concrete. We don't, we don't know what would happen if the boy crawled out the water. Right? We never know what could happen. The goat could be a nice goat, right? <laughs> could be, yeah. Yeah, it could be a nice goat, so we don't know. Alright. Um, what about sir? Yes. I have a question. Yeah. The number four sentence. Mm -hmm. I don't know this word. But Which? B U T T. Means. But but means um like run into him, to run into oh. or to um hit him. Hit to him. push, not kill. No. No hit. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little too intense. It's More like, too much, yeah. yeah, maybe or to push him, to push him in. Beat him? Yeah, it's kind push of like, him. like look at me. It's kind of like like this, like, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Oh, oh, I... Okay. I look. I look. I look. You got it. Thank. Cool. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay, let's skip a little bit. Let's look at number six. Who can read that to me? If the boy crawled out of the water, the goat would bat him. Yep, and that's an inference. Oh, that's what we just did. So let's look at number six now. Go ahead, Joshua. Read it. Sorry, which one? Which one, teacher? Number six, this one. Number six, a goat is standing by the phone. So, Observation or inference? What is? That's the, um... Observation. 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 I think it's an observation. Yes, exactly. It's an observation. Okay, so that's a fact. All right, and let's let's look at the picture to verify that. All right, so we see the goat right there. Right, the goat is standing by the pond. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, all right. Now let's see. Uh, let's look at this one. If it rains, leaves. If it rains, leaves will grow on the tree. I 
An inference. Inference. Mm. Okay, inference. Um, what about this? The sailboat belongs to the boy. Well, it looks like a observation, but I don't know. Based on the picture, I think that maybe could be an inference. On it or observed? Observation, teacher. She, he's gone again. Yeah, Inference. I guess so. Teacher, I think he's gone again. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. Yeah, because when he does not speak, he's gone. I think yeah. he's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> I think his network. And that, and what, and what is that? What? An observation or an inference? Oh, right. Which one? Well, you are, are, are saying that the teacher is go again. Oh, this is a conclusion for me. <laughs> so, so, so an inference. Uh, what is it? Conclusion. Observation. Hello. Yes. No, it's, if it's a conclusion for you, then it's a, then it's an inference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It belongs to the boy. What do you guys think that is? Observation, observation or inference? The sailboat belongs to the boy. Well, I go for inference. Inference, perfect. Why? Because you can be one hundred percent exactly. sure the the exactly. thing belongs to the boy. Exactly. Could be, but you can be absolutely sure. Exactly. How would you? How can you make a sentence with the sailboat and make it an observation? If the, the if the, you see that the boy received that boat for from somebody like a gift, or you know that he buy it or something like that. Or you can. Or uh, uh, another way you can say it is. The sailboat is in the water with the boy. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. mean necessarily that the boat is from. from it's exactly, it's from exactly. No, you're right. You're right. I'm just um, saying um, another way you can pro make the pro sentence. Pro an probably, yeah. Yeah. So the sentence I put in there is an observation, but this sentence is an inference because we ah, don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We don't know whether or not it belongs to the boy, but a if, way we if, can if make this. If you say there is a sailboat in the water with the boy, yeah, that observation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so observations are what we see, are what we see, and what is a fact. Okay, it cannot cannot be argued. All right, we can argue that the sailboat is not the boy's. Okay. Any questions on observations and inferences? I think I think we get it now, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's look a little bit more at observations and inferences. Okay, reading each of these statements. So we will answer the no. Find find the answer. Find the answer. And this one, we're going to read each statement and decide whether it's an observation or, or an inference. What well, we just did the last time. Okay, now we don't. Now we just don't have a picture. Okay. You can pick up someone to do the figures, the second, the third. Yeah. Another teacher. So let's see. So Jose, uh, jo Josue, uh, is it just Josue? Josue, you can call me Josh too. Joshua. Okay. Joshua. Oh, Joshua, yes. Joshua, okay. Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> um, hey, do you want to do you number Joshua one? See? Can you do number one for us? Yeah. Um, the container is filled to, to the 350 milliliter. Milliliter. Mark with the water. That is um. 
That is um, observation. Perfect. Of course. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um, number two. You can read number two and give me the answer. The sound goes at uh, six fifty-four this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm. Observation. Observation. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Who can read number three for me? The caterpillar did not eat the moth because it's, it's not a carnivore. Inference. What are the caterpillar? A caterpillar a is a worm. Yeah, it's a worm. So, before a butterfly becomes a butterfly, it is a caterpillar. Okay? Or our, our observation? Yeah. So... I think, I think that based on the knowest facts, It'll be an observation. Uh, or you, well, or do you think that is an inference? I think that... Um, it's like can, in the middle. It's like in the middle, yeah. I think this one can go either way because um, it might... I, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know. I guess, yeah, caterpillars aren't carnivores. Carnivores are things that eat meat. So carnivores eat meat. Like us. Like us, exactly. We're carnivores. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm not sure about the eating patterns of caterpillars, though. So, but I think this sentence will, will be more of an inference. Okay? Yeah. Because we, whenever we think of observations, observations yeah. are something that happens at the moment. Maybe okay. if, the, if you just say the caterpillar did not eat the moth, well, yes. that would be an observation. Exactly, exactly. That would be an observation. But, but, but you say because. Exactly, because it is not a carnivore. It's like. That make it an inference. That's not a, exactly, that's not an observation. That part of the sentence mm -hmm. is not an observation. Okay? So. Um, because we're. That's an so inference. Let's We're inferring. First. Yeah, it's let's keep it as an inference because okay. this part of the sentence um, in, is inferring something about the caterpillar that may or may not be true. It it's probably scientifically proven, but I am not sure about that. Okay. All right. Who we, who wants to do number four for me? Sound traveled faster through the desert How, uh, than Victor? through the water, uh, through the air. Yes. What do you say? Inference. Inference. Mm. I don't think so. Yeah, I think this is an observation. Yeah, I think that is an observation. Oh. Do we see why? Facts. Do you, do you understand why it's an observation? It's a fact. It's a fact, exactly. Yeah, it's a fact. It's a fact. Mm. Okay. Someone probably had some measuring tool that did this and figured out that sound traveled faster to the desk than to the air. And, and, okay. and usually the sound go faster in more dense mediums. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So go faster in solid than the gas. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go I, to number six. six. Who wants to read number six for me? I will. Go ahead. Uh, so, mm. When, when they sound out, I don't know. Hold on. Where? 
Um, Ooh. hold on, Shinri. Uh, I think Joe Jost- Joe wanted to go, or was it Am? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. When the sun coming out, it made the rain stop. Hello, what's up? Huh? What is it? Observation or inference? Uh, observation. Uh, yes, we can hear. Inference. Inference. Uh, well, let me see. When it's signing out, it's made the wrong. Oh, yeah. That's an inference. Yeah. 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 Why is it an inference? Because. Um, I don't really know how to say it. When it's coming out, it's made the wrong stuff. Um, how can I tell you? A could be an observation too. Mm, not no, exactly. No, because because no? you are not looking the stone. So exactly. it's like a that we happens don't, when the sometimes sometimes um when the sun is out it rains at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. sometimes the sun and rain at the same time. Exactly. So we don't know what can make the rain stop, you know? Um, we don't. We're not living in the sky, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, we're not living right. in the sky, so yeah. we can't. We can't. We're not living in the sky, and we're not rain, right? So we don't know. So we don't know what can make the rain stop, right? It stops when it stops, all right? The god of the rain. Yeah. So this is an inference, okay? Yeah. Who can do number seven for me? What about Victor? Victor, are you there? Victor. Are you there? Big, Victor. Yeah. Can you read? Can you read one for the teacher? Number seven. Number seven. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Number seven. Yes. Yeah. I can jump in high in tennis shoes because they have rubber. Rubber. Yes. Rubber on the boot bottom. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Um. So, what is that? An observation or an inference? I think observation. Yes. I think that could it's, be both. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be it could be both. Um let's see. Cause, cause if you if you take it it like some kind of experiment that you jump several times without the shoes the tennis shoe and after that you jump several times with the tennis mm-hmm. shoes and so mm-hmm. compare the numbers surely will be an observation but if you yeah, don't do that exactly. and just and you and you just look the tennis shoes and you think it about it so you think that uh, maybe you can have high tennis shoes well in that case will be an inference yes exactly perfect perfectly explained okay so what would you say this is an observation or an inference? Um, just looking at the sentence, and you have to pick one of the two. And I think that because make it an inference too. Exactly. So this would be an inference, okay? Just based on the information we have here, okay? We can assume that we can't assume that the person has done um, experiments before, has done trial and error. If they did. Um, and they saw a difference, then we can say it's an observation. Okay, but we don't know whether or not the person tried other tennis shoes before trying these ones. Okay, so based on the information that we have, we have to say this is an inference. Okay, because we don't know if the rubber on the bottom is making, the, is making him jump high, or it could just be his natural athletic ability. Right. Maybe if you just say I can jump, I can jump high in tennis shoes. In that case, so will be an observation. Yes, exactly. 
Exactly. But because you okay. have because after that cool. it Perfect. become an inference. Or same case before. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Um let's see. What about number nine? Who wants to read, read number nine? Died. I would like to read. Well, um, okay. Who said that? Okay. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, Monday. Go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Okay, okay. Dinosaurs died. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, oh yeah. Dinosaurs died out when they could not adapt to the changing climate. climate. That is an uh, influence. Climate, perfect. Okay. Yes, exactly. That's an inference. Perfect. Okay. Um, and who wants to do the last one for me? Water can Water. fall as precipitation, fall. Which, which may include rain, snow, or hail. And that is an observation, of course. Perfect. That's an observation. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. Cool. All right. Now let's make up our own observations and inferences. Okay? Looking at this picture. All right? So look at this picture for two minutes. All right? And then we're going to make up our own observations and inferences. Okay? Think about um, sentences that you can say to me. All right? Um, that are observations and inferences. Okay. All right. So what yeah. is uh, what is uh, this kind of animal called? Penguin. Penguins. 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 Yeah. Can you type this word? Yeah, I'll type it. Penguins. Pen penguins. Penguins. Yeah. Penguins. Penguins. Can I say one observation? Yes. Uh, the penguins are penguins on the water. The penguins are coming out from the water. Perfect. The penguins are coming out of the water. Who can make another observation for me? The penguins, the penguins jump get out of water. The penguins what? Jump get out jump under out of the water. Yeah. Under water. Perfect. Perfect. The penguins jump out of the water. Perfect. Who can make one more observation for me? There are five penguins. There are five penguins. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see if we can make inferences about this. Remember, inferences are educated conclusions. Okay? So who the can penguins, make... Uh, the penguins are very cold. The penguins are very cold. Perfect. The penguins is black. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. No, that's an that's observation. an observation. Yeah. <laughs> the penguins are happy. The penguins are happy. Okay. The penguins are going to take the sun. The sun. Okay, cool. So the penguins are going to take in the sun and relax. Party. <laughs> and party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Good. So you guys understand the difference between observations and inferences. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now let's do a little bit of a review. Okay. Um, we're going to look at everything all together now. All right. Okay. So okay. first part is vocabulary. All right. So Let's see if we can match these words with these sentences. Okay? What which one is an inference? What's an observation? What's qualitative? Okay. What are the properties? And what are what are quantitative here? Okay. So what's a definition or what's an example then of an inference? The object is perfect long. That is a quantitative. 
Quantitative, perfect. Quantitative. Yes. So the object is four feet long. Quantitative observation. Okay. Um, who can do another one for me? The observation could be the bucket is blue. The bucket is blue, perfect. The bucket is blue. Properties could be characteristics that distinguish one material from another. Perfect. Characteristics, okay. Um, what are we missing? Uh, qualitative. Qual what's a qualitative thing? I think the the, stu the students use their senses to gain a true understand of it. It's a uh, influence. Influence. Okay. Yes. Or hmm. Let's see. Let's think about it. Let's think about qualitative versus inference. Um, Mm, yeah, inference, inference can call be after finding the ball in his house, he believes he now, he now knows who the window was broken. Mm -hmm. That's uh, inference? Yes. Yeah, yes, I think so. Yes, so that's an inference, okay? After finding the ball, in his house, he believes he now knows how the window was broken. Okay, so he believes he so cannot the make uh, the qualitative could be the student. The student uses their senses to gain a true understanding of it. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so let's do a little review again. Um, which ones are qualitative? Um, the chair has six legs. What is this? Observation. Yeah. Which type of observation? Uh, quantitative. Quantitative. Perfect. Um, the ball is not round. Quantitative. Qualitative. Qualitative. Perfect. Teacher. The tie had... Yes? Why qualitative? There is no number in the... There's no number. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Um, the tie had pictures of baseballs on it. Qualitative. Qualitative. The flag had 13 stripes on it. Quantitative. Mm -hmm. The east wall had the word teamwork written on it. Qualitative. Qualitative. And let's see. Qualitative. The fish Qualitative. swam in circles. Uh, observation. Oh, sorry. We are talking about the quantity and quality, oh, quality. right? No. Yes. Quality. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the raisin decreased in mass by five percent. It's quantity. Quantity. Perfect. Okay. Um, now let's see, let's uh, make inferences again. Okay. Um, looking at this graph. So study the graph. Um, the observation below. All right. Um, and use the observ use what you see below to infer the reasons for change in Mrs. Valentes, who is this person right here. Um, use it to infer the reasons for change in her speed over the recorded amount of time. Okay, so infer the reasons why her speed changed um, over different periods of time. Okay, so infer the reason as to why her speed changes over a period of time while she is riding her bike. Okay? okay. All right, so we're going to look at each speed change. We're going to look from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to I, I to J, J to K, and K to L. Okay? And this is a span of over 25 minutes. 
Okay. All right. So from A to B, what can we say? When all, what happened here? What what can we say? He is starter. Mm, what is it? No, no, because the speed is not zero at the beginning. So yes. he was right already. Slowly. Maybe he is start to to go faster because you yeah. call that thing that you do with your leg in the in the bike yeah to move, to move the bike so you're starting to pedal pedal to pedal faster yeah pedal, pedal fast. yeah we know pedaling same yeah so she's starting to pedal faster perfect um and what can we say from b to c what happened here he started, started to stop him. He is going slowly. To um, later stop. Can we, stop. Can we have a reason? Can we have a reason? Yeah, the, because sp the speed is zero at one five pm. Mm -hmm. Can we have a reason why it decreased from B to C? He want to stop. Yeah. She he wanted to stop. What's a what's a reason? A real life reason. Maybe maybe her legs. Her legs, yeah. Okay, perfect. So we can say her legs got tired. Okay, that's an inference. All right. Yeah, but uh, it looks too little time to take a rest. Yeah, well, I mean, this is just an imagination. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just like they. they they stop and and suddenly he stopped and pedal fast. Yeah. And then maybe, maybe, oh, maybe, she maybe 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 she reach the hill. Mm -hmm. So stop at the top of the hill and then is coming to the sun by the hill. So okay, go fast. Yeah, yeah so, she, be so she got to the she top of the hill. Perfect. Perfect. She okay. Or we, be, maybe she even needed yeah. to tie her shoes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <'cause> cozy. <laughs> the the, the rubber shoes. Okay. What can we say happened between F and G? Maybe he stayed the uh, speed uh, constant. Yeah. So her speed stayed constant. What's the reason for that, you think? A uh, very flat surface. It was a flat surface, yeah. Yeah, it was a flat uh, That's a and, good. A, and, a, and a straight path. A straight path. It was a straight path. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna stop there. All right, because we're out of time. But good job for today, guys. So did we learn? Um, good. The, the difference between infants.